Makeup and things like that on, um, but we're already in our clothes. And uh, this view, guys, obviously, waking up and then coming out your door and seeing this view it's just absolutely amazing. And all you can hear all night long is the sheep. Uh, uh, it's so relaxing. Sean did say that uh, he thought it was a little bit annoying, especially the older ones because you can hear the little lambs, and the lambs are so cute. But Sean thought that the, uh, the older ones were a little bit annoying. But it's been a really, really good first night. A great start to the morning. We've had Easter Bunny drop off the children's Easter baskets. Now we're going to go down to the toilet, get put together because I look a little bit of a mess, and then um, we're going to go out and have a McDonald's breakfast. So we've just been watching some baby lambs be born on the field. Really though, just to walk out your front door and see. Like, just seeing baby lambs be born spin. all over. Everywhere you look, there's loads of new newborn lambs being born. Let's go brush our teeth guys, we'll see you guys in a moment. to get a McDonald's breakfast. The children went for pancakes and syrup. Jan went for pancake sausage and syrup. You went for a double egg sausage. Double sausage egg McMuffin meal. I always yeah. get it. It's just, it's just a must be for me. What do you guys get for breakfast when you come to McDonald's? Question of the yeah. day, guys. Leave a comment Drop down a below. Comment down below. Um, so, so it is currently, it's not even nine o'clock, guys. We've been up and getting a really early start. We got up at five o'clock this morning. Yeah, we did. That's how dedicated we are to YouTube, guys. <laughs> are you all feeling? Good. Are you excited for your breakfast? Um, yeah. Yes, I'm really excited for my breakfast. Yeah. All gotten food. Look how dirty that looks, guys. That looks like very, very dirty. Don't know if it's four percent. Focus, camera. There we are. That looks like a beast. Ooh. That's the reason why I love it. Stephanie's got no makeup on, so excuse her. She's not feeling too confident on the vlog. But never mind, guys. What did you go for, Don? I went for a breakfast wrap. Lovely. Which has what? got like bacon, egg, sausage, a hash brown, and then a bit of brown sauce. More sophisticated than mine. And what do you guys go for? I, go, I went for I a breakfast wrap as well. Like. This is what I got. I got pancakes with sausages and I got my knives and forks and this is the best combination ever guys. So we're done at McDonald's guys. We're gonna go back to the year. That was absolutely lovely. Just what I needed for this morning to get myself started. I've not had a cup of coffee or a cup of tea for the last two days. So Kind of doing like a coffee detox kind of thing. It wasn't intentional, just that I was being really busy every morning. So I've kind of skipped breakfast, skipped coffee, skipped tea, just had a glass of water and out the door every morning. Yesterday morning and this morning. Not this morning, yesterday morning and the morning before that. So yeah, feels really good to have some caffeine back in my system. Feeling really energized, guys. Feeling really pumped. So we're gonna go back to the yurt. Gonna go on an Easter egg hunt. A few hours later. So we're on the zip line, guys.
background, we're heading back to the yurt now. We're gonna come back a little bit later on when the park is closed off and have a fun time to ourselves. All inclusive, guys. Let's go, guys, let's go back to the yurt. I found a little bit of a shortcut. So where we were, um, where you can have a Bianna bite is just up there. Now, if you don't come for the shortcut, you've got like a massive uphill walk all the way around there. We're gonna cut through here, which is just basically this. And then we're gonna walk up there and up on that hill. And then we should be like basically within like walking distance from our camp, well from our yurts. I keep calling it a camp from our yurts. Not that one guys, it's actually a footpath up here. Come on guys, then. Follow it, dad. Actually, no, I know where you're going. Best of you. Don't get. Family come for your sick. <laughs> Absolutely lovely place to come adventure though. You just see loads of kids just wandering around in the woods and there's like loads of off-trail footpaths and stuff and great place for the kids just to come and explore. <laughs> yeah, you got caught a few flies today, have you? Oh, did you have a fly in your mouth? <laughs> you think you can manage that, dears? Goes the troops, so I thought I'd have a little talk to you guys this way. They've run up up there. One of the things I like about these outdoor adventure things, it builds the children's self confidence and self belief in themselves because you go off trails and you go out in the woods and stuff, and they're not too sure if they can do that mountain or that hill. And then you can bit encouragement, you take them by the hand, show them the way, and it really builds their self esteem up. And that's what I like about it. So, yeah, definitely one of the perks of bringing them out in the outdoors and going like off track and just hiking I suppose, that's what you'd call it, hiking, family hiking. It's a good benefit for the children, it makes them feel good about themselves, it makes them feel like they've achieved something. Cause like this hill that we just climbed there looks really steep and like it's not an actual path for some people that went up it, but it makes them feel good because they've like conquered something big. So yeah, come on guys, let's go. Now we are on the walk. This is the walk. And this is the walk and I have these skipping ropes with ice cream on them and I'm just going to skip my way like this all the way to the top until we go to the yurt. So I'm really excited and look, coming with us a deer. So we're currently walking up this big along woodland pathway and look what we're seeing guys. Sean and Sean, we're hey, seeing buddy. a deer. Are you ready for guys? Three, two, one. Feast your eyes on this. A flipping deer made out of twigs. Like <laughs> you would certainly get confused if you were walking down here on a foggy morning. Yeah. I'd probably get the fright of my life. We're fooling you, whoa. <laughs> whoa. We're fooling you guys. Did you really think it was a deer, a real deer? <laughs> I did from a distance when Deanne said it was a deer. I was like, whoa, what's deer? Really? <laughs> a really fun yeah, family yeah. deer, guys. It's just great just to get away from the city. Get away from daily stress and just unwind and just spend time together as a family. There's another one. Freaking another deer? What? <laughs> what on earth are we coming across? <laughs> That's crazy. Guys, I'm just like one of them fathers. I just like really love me children. Love to like wrap them up kind of thing, but I'm realizing sometimes you've got to let them go and do their own little thing and like learn by their own mistakes. Because children love to listen, like our children are very good listening to us, but sometimes they'll be like, I don't know. I want to test the water, I want to see if I can, if, I, if, that, if that is really dangerous and the trip and they go, okay dad you're right, or hey dad you're wrong, <laughs> it wasn't dangerous, I done that and it was okay, so yeah, anyways guys, a little bit of sentimental talk guys, I know you guys have missed all the sentimental talk and I'm quite an open person, I'm quite like, I wear my heart on my sleeve kind of thing, so I'm quite open with my feelings and quite open to talk to you guys about that. I know you guys like that, so... Caleb is so tired that Sean is actually carrying him just down there, I don't know if you can see but Sean's had to carry him so Sean's carrying him all the way up this hill you seen how big this hill is? Whew, I would be so out of breath if I had to carry Caleb all the way up this hill went to the shop and we bought some stuff from the National Trust shop um, I'll show you one of the things we actually bought so we bought because it's Easter. This cute little Easter egg, which is made out of oh nuts and stuff. Mood. I should buy that. It's five pounds, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh rabbit Teddy. He's needing to carry his hill. Oh, come sit down Must be like a mountain mm. for him. His tiny little legs, but he really gets exhausted much easier than the other children, doesn't he? He does, yeah. He's got anemia, guys, um, so his energy levels aren't as good as everybody else's. It has tired us out. So now we're gonna chill, we're gonna have a beer. Yeah, we're gonna put some food Hi. on. We're also having a little Easter Hi. party, guys. Hi, Sean. No. It's hard to get everybody in, but yeah, that, yeah that's good. Yeah, we've got balloons in the background, with a little Easter uh, banner up. I'll show you guys all that in just a moment. Have you already showed them? I haven't, no, yeah. So you got that to see, guys. Um, it was pretty fun. We also, I think, if I mentioned, we found somebody who watches our videos um, who said works. hello, yeah, works at the Gibside Cafe. So yeah. Thank you for watching our videos. Um, so you never had much time to talk to you guys. Obviously we were ordering food, you were working, but it was nice to chat to you when we did. The weather is a lot better than it was oh, yesterday. Just so, the like sun is shining. The sun. Look how much sun's the out there. The wind has calmed down a lot. So just, good just weather. Just what you need on your last day, guys. Absolutely amazing. Hey guys, so we're outside at home, but football with a brother. Hi, I wear my hair. Hi. My hair's We just stick it first. There you go, I think that's better. Okay, you ready? We're going to play football? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. A few hours later. It's setting in dark now. Um, I'm going to go and wash my hair before I get cozied up down there on one of the double beds in front of this lovely fire, guys. I'm just going to show you guys this lovely fire. It's absolutely beautiful. It's burned nice and lovely. I'll show you guys it right now. So guys, got the fire burn. It's officially all last night. So how are you enjoying your holiday so far, Dion? It is really, really fun, guys, and I really enjoyed the park. Yeah. Like, having the park to yourself was really, really <laughs> cool. You don't get to see that every day. For our little tea party, we have this little selection here. We have some Easter bunny crisps, biscuits, Easter cake, some crackers, some Easter biscuits from Aldi, which are Easter flavour some nuts and then we've got like our little banner up a couple of balloons easter bunnies down there we are leaving the year is our last day at gibbside what a morning um guys 10 o'clock in the morning you guys gotta leave um well it's pretty early it's about 20 past nine i'm gonna go and get the car um put the car down pack the car up and i'm gonna brush my teeth Get ready. Kind of like slept in. Slept in about nine o'clock. How is everybody feeling on our last day? <laughs> this is where the, the boys are. Upset. Sean. But on if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Join our YouTube journey. Um. So yeah, everybody say goodbye to Westwoods yet. <laughs> there was zero enthusiasm behind that guys these kids are not looking forward to leaving these this year but guys it's been an absolute journey it's been an absolute pleasure to come out and have so much fun with the family we've explored we've uh, we've experienced history we've met subscribers we've met viewers we've kids have had fun with their friends we've had the easter bunny guys there's loads went on over the last couple of days so thank you for watching everybody so my beautiful bee fam it is the last day we've tidied everything up everything's packed look everything's all nice and cleaned um i got up at half five this morning just done the dishes emptied the bins uh, emptied the ash out from the fire pit give it a little clean around um so then when we had to leave at 10 o'clock like i woke everyone up at nine o'clock and then when we had to leave we just basically had to make the beds and get everything to the car um so it's been a fun weekend guys i've really enjoyed it you enjoyed it dion yes i really enjoyed it yeah it's been good guys um i definitely recommend staying in one of these yurts they're so amazing guys look at this they're so good um, and if you buy the locks from here, it keeps the place lovely and warm. 
it's just the acorn I've swept the floor as well um it keeps the place lovely and warm the logs do they work amazingly so it's quite cold if you don't have like logs so I definitely recommend if you come in to get some logs to keep it warm okay guys that is us saying goodbye to West Woods Yurt absolutely great experience if you're looking for a new experience guys feel free to come along with us to our next experience it's got a locker store and I hide it that does it, it just nicks the cords up there we are locked out now guys all right guys see you guys in the next video so before we leave we actually want to go and have a look at the cows logan actually wants to go and see them how you feeling are you okay logan look at the big one right so walk slowly because if you walk too fast you scare them they like we walk slowly <laughs> look at that little baby one there look at them they're all just grazing and having their food <laughs> what do you think of the cows logan it smells <laughs> oh one's pooping <laughs> so yeah look at them i'll see you look at you guys look what you're doing it's just it's a camera say hello to the beef fam his <laughs> it's, it's, ears pricked up <laughs> looks so funny he stole his food <laughs> you took some food out of his mouth <laughs> he's like i need some of that i'll take some of that for you <laughs> We couldn't leave, I suppose, without saying goodbye to the cows. It's actually the farmer's land. Um, you can actually stay over there in that cabin. It's a two man camp. Um, so, like, say if you're like a romantic weekend away with your partner, you can just stay over there. It looks really, really cool. Nice view over the field over there. And of course, you got the cows over here. Logan, where are you going? Say goodbye then. Great experience. You enjoyed your holiday, guys? Right, let's go then. Let's go to KFC. Let's go back to the city. Find out what the city life like, guys. <laughs> oh, I've missed the city. Say it's gonna be okay. Cause this winter is so long, feels like it's hard.